Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church. Bring you a devotional today out of Isaiah 38, verse 10. And it says, I said, in the prime of my life, must I now enter the place of the dead? Am I to be robbed of the rest of my years? And this is part of Hezekiah's, it's called a poem of praise. And he's praising God because God had delivered him from a sickness and a terrible illness. Um, if you know the story, Hezekiah did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord said, you're not going to recover from this sickness. And then Hezekiah repented of his sins. And the Lord said, I will extend your life. And the Lord gave him a you know, recovery, gave him his health back. And so I, I, Hezekiah is praising God. And again, but the, he one of the how he starts his praise, he says, "In the prime of my life, must I now enter the place of the dead?" He's asking almost this question of God, and he begins his is almost like his his praise and his acknowledgement of of what God has done for him. And I think it brings up a really important spiritual truth. You know, Hezekiah makes it clear that he was in the prime of his life. He was not an old man. He did not probably have many health issues until his sickness. And and, and so Hezekiah wasn't expecting to die. wasn't expecting to get this illness. wasn't expecting it to happen. And I think the spiritual application this brings up is we're not always promised tomorrow. In fact, the Bible says we're never promised tomorrow. And, and why I bring this to attention is obviously we plan our lives out where death is expected when you're older. Not that it makes it any easier to lose somebody that's older, but it's expected of, of when you grow old, eventually there will be death. I mean, that's that's an that's a inescapable reality. But we always think of our, our time of youth. We feel like we can conquer anything, like we can do anything because we've got plenty of years left. We don't have to worry about death until later on. But that's not always the case. And we darn never, ever promise tomorrow. And so my, my message to you is about being ready. It, it is, and again, none of us like to talk about death. None of us like to talk about the end. But my, my question to you is, are you prepared? You know, Hezekiah, he wasn't expecting it. You and I, I, I mean, I pray you live a long and healthy life, a long and happy life. But we're not promised that. So can you live each and every day as if you, as if, you know, you're, as if you're prepared for the end. And, and why I bring that up is because there is a way that you can, and that is by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You see, if you have accepted the, the, the death of Jesus as payment of your sins, if you believe in his resurrection, then death holds no power over us. Then whether we live a hundred years or just one more day, we know that we will see Jesus. We know that we will be in heaven and we can be prepared. Uh, one of the worst things you can say is, oh, I'll focus on that as I get closer to my death death. Or, you know, I, I want to focus on living right now, as some people have said. I'm not going to focus on dying. And that's all fine and well, but the, the fact of the matter is, death does not wait for us to be ready. And, and sickness does not wait for us to be ready. Hezekiah, in the prime of his life, was stricken with an illness, and he was told he was going to die to get his himself ready. And my message for you today is to get ready. Not that I want you to die anytime soon, because I do not. But you must be prepared. And as Christians, we ought to be prepared, because if you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then death holds no power over you and has no control over you. Because you know, as Paul says, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. To close your eyes in this life is to open them in heaven. So I pray that, that you are ready. I pray that you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior so that you are prepared to face the great beyond and face eternity because I promise you that those of us who have Christ Jesus, our eternity is an eternity of glory. Amen.